Hello and welcome to Real Butter. If you didn't know that's what you're watching, then grab a snack, because you're going to be here for a while. I'm Ryan Sarudi. On today's show, we're going to bring you the latest movie news, make fun of the things we don't like, and review this weekend's new release of The Hangover Part 3, or as we like to call it, The Rise and Fall of Leslie Chow and the Drunkards from Vegas. Thanks to a Kickstarter campaign, the city of Detroit will soon be getting their statue of the iconic movie character, Robocop. In related news, the city of Portland will also be getting its statue of, uh, Rain? Aging hippies, they do have, no, didn't Hitler try and, oh, that was Poland. Is it a port or, or a land? I don't know anything about Portland. Is anybody? For years now, Universal Studios has been looking to cash in on the popularity of the marvelous, mysterious, midnight, madness-inducing Ouija board. And it looks like they have finally found their meal ticket and the rights to a recent indie horror hit, I Am Zozo. They wanted to make a Magic 8-Ball movie, but every time they tried, they kept being told to ask again later. <laughs> Reality TV up-and-comer Zach Lipov from On The Lot has partnered with WWE Studios to reboot the campy horror flick Leprechaun. Jennifer Aniston isn't in this. You think she'll be green with envy? Let's hope the studio doesn't come up short. There's no pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. I'm sure this story has made someone a little jealous. Maybe this will be WWE's lucky charm? I wonder if they'll cast Anthony as the leprechaun. Get it? It's a leprechaun movie. And now the 60 second movie review with Anthony Messiano. Can we successfully review a movie in 60 seconds? Funnier than I expected it to be. Yes. And far superior to The Hangover Part 2. Pretty much anything is superior to <laughs> The Hangover Part 2. I mean, what I enjoyed most of all, which will probably make a lot of people also not like it at the same time, was that it was nothing like The Hangover 1 or The Hangover 2. I think in large part because of the fact that The Hangover Part 2 was basically the exact same storyline and framework of the first film in a new setting. But then 3, you know, they just pushed all that aside and said, let's do something new. And it was enjoyable. It's a fun, it's a fun adventure. Although I think that this storyline was more kind of a coming of age story for a lot of the, a lot of the characters. And I just would have never thought to say the Hangover Part 3, a coming of age film. The movie was kind of taking a serious tone. And then all of a sudden it was like a, a character had to say something funny as to say, oh, right, we're doing a comedy. Uh, <laughs> So out of five pumps of butter, The Hangover 3 is going to earn... Two and a half pumps of butter. Satisfying, did what it was supposed to do, nothing extraordinary. No. But it's fun if you want to go check it out. Definitely. So that was the 60 second movie review on Hangover 3 because that's what you voted for. But I, being a movie whore, uh, went out and saw Fast and Furious 6 anyways. I didn't get to see it. I was on an island. <laughs> so here's my quick review. I wanted to hate it, I didn't. I really liked it. I'm ashamed of it. Moving on. Ha. Ah. So I was recently in San Juan, Puerto Rico for a comic convention, and on the flight back, I watched um, some episodes of Real Butter. While watching them, I actually, I draw, I did a, a, a sketch of you, like a caricature of you. Ooh. You wanna see it? Yeah, I would like to see it. All that. right, here. Oh, huh, not too bad. Thank uh, you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I also did one of me, you wanna see? Sure, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 It's so accurate. <laughs> I don't think it's at all. It's perfect. <laughs> Anyone who's seen my nipples knows those are my nipples. Are you an artist? Then go to facebook.com slash the real butter and send us your drawing of these two idiots doing a 60 second movie review in a message, whoever wins with the best drawing will have their artwork featured, look at that face, featured next week 
in our next episode with credits and, and a shout out and we'll plug your crap. You got like a DeviantArt page? Pfft, we'll plug it. And if you like this episode, don't forget to uh, subscribe and also subscribe. share uh, this share. to your many friends who are, might also be artists and want to get share. a chance to have their art featured on Real Butter. And that's it. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Do we get to see the little splash paging at the end of all the buttons for the other episodes? I'm pretty sure it'll be there.